Hello everybody that's Dr. Dean Winger. Today we're back on our video today on a Star Wars topic today. In this in this video we're going to talk about um, my top 10 favorite Star Wars bounty hunters of the Star Wars franchise and what my favorite bounty hunters are. Um, like I said I'm going to be doing quite a few quite a bit of different Star Wars Star Wars events throughout throughout this week and, to, and I'm definitely going to be doing some Star Wars gaming of the Star Wars Battlefront games as well. So I'll definitely be doing that on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as well. So I'll definitely be doing some gaming on the weekend. And getting some gameplay in there and stuff. Um, what I want to talk about today is my top 10 favorite bounty hunters. Um, if you have a favorite bounty hunter that you like throughout the Star Wars franchise, so what's your favorite one? Comment in the section below and I'd love to know. So I'll best share with you guys my favorite bounty hunters and see what you guys think. Um, at number 10, we have Zam Wessel. From the Attack of the Clones. Um, I think what was really interesting, what I like about her, even though she was only on for like a short period of time, one of her unique abilities is shape shifting. So she shape shift into probably lookalikes of you. And she is, you know, an assassin, you know, like bounty hunter. So like her shape shifting technique is probably how she uses to like flesh out like her targets and everything, which is really interesting. And despite the fact that everybody th kind of thought she was human, well, to be honest with you, I don't think necessarily think she's human at all, especially with her alien face that she had. So, like, um, it's very interesting what else she could have, you know, shape-shifted into for a lot. Because uh, me, personally, I feel like she could have shape-shifted into, like, Obi-Wan or somebody else to kind of, like, confuse people. But I think that'd be kind of interesting if she was able to do that, but... Um, I think one interesting thing I like about her is she definitely has a resemblance to the one character, other female by her, by the name of Fennec, in a way. But the only difference with the Fennec, she has like a cyber, cybernetic look to her than, uh, than what Zam has. But um, I definitely really enjoyed uh, Zam's character, and even though she was all on for like a short period of time, she was a really interesting character, so... At number, I think another good thing I like about Zam, uh, she was also on the Star Wars Bounty Hunter video game with Jango Fett a little bit, which kind of showed they had you know pretty good history with each other and stuff. So they were they were really good trusty allies to one another. So that was kind of interesting about uh, Zam. Um, at number nine, we have Aurora Sang. Um, Aurora Singh is, a, is another female bounty hunter I really like very well, even though um, she was once originally a Jedi. Um, she left the order due to her, due to too many things that she was doing that wasn't supposed to, and uh, she ended up getting kicked out of the Jedi Order. Um, but what's really interesting about her is I like the fact how we got to see her a little bit in the Clone Wars and stuff, and I kind of explored her character pretty well, and got to know her a little bit what she's capable of and what she can do um she was also in if I remember correctly she was also in the attack of the clones um not the attack of the clones but she was also in the phantom menace uh movie the very first movie where i think it was during the pod racing that they only showed her like a short like a short second ever but she was also on she was on, on there on there for like a little bit but it was really interesting how they showed aurora saying what she's capable of what she can do and as a bounty hunter and stuff like that and um she allies pretty well with like characters like bubble fat and everything else uh including cad bane as well but i really enjoyed her character uh throughout the clone wars um at number eight we have black Kristan. We have Black Chris Cranston, or Cr Cr which is the Woogie Bounty Hunter from the Book of Boba Fett show. Um, I really, I really liked his character pretty well, a Wookiee Bounty Hunter, and that Bounty Hunter, that, that Wookiee was huge. I don't think that's a Bounty Hunter. I don't think that's a Wookiee I would want to meet in a dark alley at all. Um, I think one of the any things I liked about him is he's like really big when it comes to brute strength and. Um, he has quite a few like unique s skills tactics that I like that he that he does that are really um, interesting. Um, and it's really interesting that you have a Wookiee bounty hunter that's literally a bad guy. I would love to actually see you know 
if they were able to show that in the Mandalorian, I think it'd be kind of in the Book of Boba. I think it'd be pretty cool if they had a a fight between Chewie and uh, and Black. Of course, I think that'd be kind of interesting to have kind of a little fight going on between those two. I think it'd be kind of a cool showdown. Um, at number seven we have Fennec. We have Fennec Shanad. Uh, from the Book of Boba Fett. Also, she was also on the Bad Batch series as well. Um, I really enjoyed her character pretty well as a bounty hunter, and not just that, but she's a really unique sharpshooter and a very good, very good strategist, and um, has a really awesome, un unique skill that she skill set she's capable of using. And I just really enjoyed her character pretty well. Uh, different bounty hunter, but um, I really, I really like what she does and. One of my other favorite, one of my favorite bounty hunters on the list. At number six, we have Din Djarin, aka the Mandalorian, from the Mandalorian series. Um, I really enjoy his character pretty well throughout the series. Um, his story and everything else of what he does, especially with Rogu and everything. Um, such an interesting character, and I like how you get to you explore and listen to a lot of the history about Mandalore and you know, the, the war, the Mandalorian war that I had as well. Um, really interesting how much, um, Man Mandalorian has grown and not just that, but I like how popular he has gotten and kind of has like one of the coolest armors ever, the basket armor, which is a shiny silvery like armor that he runs around with, which is really cool. Um, really cool bounty hunter and I really enjoy his character pretty well. Um, at number five, we have the bounty hunter Imbo, which uh, is off of the Clone Wars series, m most known for the Clone Wars series. I really enjoy his character pretty well, even though his his weapons were a crossbow, and he has his hat that's basically he can use as a shield and to throw at you too for a melee weapon, and he's also used it as a sled to slide down like sand or snow for example which is kind of cool uh, i, I kind of liked him as a pretty cool bounty hunter character and it's really interesting and stuff um a, a, a unique thing that i learned about him um he has a bounty that's on lando calrissian that he's at, that was during the return of the jedi like era and stuff i think it'd be really interesting for because I know they've been trying to do, like, a Lando series or some type of Lando Calrissian, like, movie or something. I always thought it'd be pretty interesting if they would use Embo as, like, a villainish character for, um, for, like, Lando to go up against or something. I don't know if, that, if they would actually do that kind of thing. But I enjoyed Embo's pretty character pretty well. It's kind of an interesting, cool bounty hunter character. At number four, we have Bosk. Which is this lizard like by higher character, which is first shown in Empire Strikes Back. Uh, I really enjoyed his character pretty well, and they did do, do quite a bit of things with him in the Clone Wars and stuff as well, which understand where he comes from, and there's other species that were just like him. So he's kind of like lizard from, not lizard, but um, reptile from like Mortal Kombat like character. Um, I think one of the cool things I like about uh, Bosk is like his. He has interesting like trap t trap tactics because he's kind of a he operates like a, as like a hunter in a way which is what he uses he uses hunt, like hunting tactics to like get his victims and everything which I'm sure other bounty hunters do that as well but he's one of those ones that uses a lot of hunting tactics to like get his victims and everything. Um, at number three we have Cad Bane. Um, I think Cad Bane is an awesome, cool bounty hunter character, and, uh, one of my favorite bounty hunters, one of my favorite bounty hunters, especially in the Clone Wars, I think Clone Wars was a pretty cool thing for him, and then, obviously, showing him in Star Wars Rebels, and then, um, the Bad Batch series as well was a really cool one, and then showing him in live, live action in the Book of Bull Effect show, which is which is actually pretty cool. Um, definitely a really cool character, and... It definitely kind of shows where he's been all this time. He's still been a supporter for the Empire. He's He's been on the Empire side. He's he's basically Palpatine's go-to bounty hunter that will get the job done. Um, and Cad Bane will do that because he is a not only a sharp shooter, but he's a very fast duelist. And um, he does do whatever it takes to get the job done. 
Um, that's what I really like very much about him. About him. Number two, we have Boba Fett. Uh, Boba Fett is one of my other favorite bounty hunters as well from Star Wars. I like the fact, I like his his weapon of choice that he uses, and just as an iconic character very well. I enjoy his character very well, especially you know throughout the movies, the Book of Boba Fett show, and you know his appearance is on the Mandalorian show as well. Um, he's a he is a warrior. He is a fighter. He is. He is a deadly bounty hunter, and I really enjoy his character pretty well. I think it'd be really cool, like, if they actually would do this, if they would actually continue 1313 Star Wars game, which was basically a game based on Boba Fett. And I think that'd be really kind of unique, make a Star Wars bounty hunter game about Boba Fett like they did with Jingo Fett. Um, but like I said, I really enjoy uh, um, Boba Fett Rue as a bounty hunter. And at number one, we have, last but not least, Jango Fett. Uh, Jango Fett is one of my favorite bounty hunter characters in Star Wars. The dual welding bounty hunter character. Um, I really like how his character is as a as a bounty hunter, especially when he does, especially the things he does. And he had a pretty cool Star Wars game that he had. And not just that, but um, he is very a really deadly bounty hunter. And... Not always one of my favorite ones, but you know he is that, you know he is that plot point to Boba Fett and his legacy, and I just really enjoyed Bo Jango Fett pretty well, and I think it'd be pretty cool if they would actually make like a Jango Fett like prequel series about him or something, kind of like they did with Book of Boba Fett. I think that'd be kind of unique, and they can throw in you know like Zam and you know a couple of characters like that, and you know Cad Bane is very fond of Jango Fett because Cad Bane was learned by Jango Fett, so it'd be pretty interesting to have Zam and Cat and kind of a prequel era to, um, Cad Bane in that era to kind of see where he comes from and kind of spec. I think that'd be kind of, kind of unique, unique Star Wars story. Um, I think that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, post a comment section below, and if you'd like to hit the like button, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as always, and I'll see you next video, and goodbye.